Do you see it? It's all around you in your everyday life. It is in the waves of the ocean. It is in the nerves of the leaves, in the branches of the trees, in the palm of your own hand. It is the patterns found in this universe. Do you see it now? I think there is a reason that our reality is constantly clouded with our own thoughts. If not for our thoughts, we wouldn't be so distracted. We would absorb the present moment more, and I'm not sure if we could handle the intensity of the present moment. A single rock is filled with so many details, more than what you managed to notice so far in your life. If we actually take in all the details of the present moment, maybe we would just get lost in it. The universe seems so chaotic, so random, intricate and complex. It is often considered to be beyond the grasp of mathematics, science and even art. But what do you see when you look at this picture? It is called the Great Wave, a woodlock print by the 18th century Japanese artist Hokusai. Look at it carefully. A fractal is a mathematical set that exhibits a repeating pattern displayed at every scale. I know that warning alarms are ringing at this very moment when I started talking about a mathematical set. It is really easy to explain. Take a blank sheet of paper and draw a line from the center to the bottom, just like this one. Now, draw two other lines at a 45 degree angle from the top of the first line and continue doing the same to all the lines that you draw, like this. And keep going on. And this, my friend, is called the fractal canopy, or the initial stage of it. Now put the pen down, go outside of your room, and look at the nearest tree. What do you see? A mathematical set that exhibits a repeating pattern displayed at every scale. It is not just in this tree. It is found almost everywhere in nature, in the mountain peaks, in the coastal lines, nerves inside you, the human heartbeat. It seems like the universe is following a self-similar code that repeats itself at every scale. When discussing fractal geometry, we should absolutely talk about Benoit Mandelbrot. He's a Polish-born, French and American mathematician who refers to himself as a fractalist. He's the one who coined the word fractals. He said that things that are considered chaotic, rough and complex in nature have a degree of order. He showed how visually complex things like mountains, rocks or a forest can be created from simple rules. He even displayed it by discovering the Mandelbrot set in 1979. In his book Fractals, Form, Chances and Dimension and Fractal Geometry of Nature, he described how these self-similar patterns are to be seen in even the complex structures of nature. Because of his work in this area, fractal geometry is now used to produce computer-generated visual effects in movies, cancer research, telecommunication and many other fields. One of my favorite fractal application researches is this. In 1997, a group of researchers, Wes, Brown and Enquist, tried to determine whether the fractal structure of a single tree could predict how an entire forest is placed in the ecosystem. One of the researchers headed to the northwestern part of Costa Rica to a government-allocated rainforest. They measured the fractal structure of the tree by measuring the placement of the branches, the gap between them, and then proceeded to the forest to measure the placement of various trees, big and small, within the forest. They found something quite amazing, for the lack of a better word. The distribution of the branches in the tree they measured almost exactly matched the distribution of the trees in the forest. Suddenly, the work of nature which was thought to be beyond the grasp of humans revealed itself in the form of fractals. If you think about it for a minute, it would be incredibly inefficient to have a set of blueprints for every single stage of increasing size. But if you have a fractal code, a code that says when to branch as you get bigger and bigger, then uh, a very simple genetic code can produce what looks like a complicated organism. But Mandelbrot is not the first one to notice these self-similar patterns. Remember the Japanese Great Wave? Look at the self-similar waves at the end of the giant wave in this picture. And Hokusai is not the only artist to notice this. Actually, fractal art is largely prevalent in ancient Indian architectures. 
and many Southeast Asian temples and monuments exhibit fractal structures. They are also prevalent in Islamic geometric patterns and African architecture. It is safe to say that almost all of the ancient cultures from around the world seem to have an understanding of this fractal geometry present in the nature. If you had watched my simulation hypothesis video, I'm including that in the card above. I've discussed whether this universe is a computer simulation, a result of an error correcting computer code. I've also briefly talked about finding the boundaries of the universe using probability. From simulation hypothesis to fractal geometry, it seems like the universe or reality is inherently mathematical in nature and God, the one who created this universe, is most definitely a mathematician. So next time when you are outside walking or looking at a tree, give yourself a couple of minutes to really be present and register the patterns around you. Maybe the secret of the universe is right in front of us and we are just too distracted to notice. That's it for this week's episode. I've added a lot of reading materials and sources about fractal geometry in the description below. You can check that out if you want to know more. Have you ever noticed any of these patterns in your day to day life? Maybe in your hand, in the night sky or on your cat? I would love to know about it. So please share your experience in the comments below. Also if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and most importantly share it with your friends on social media so that new viewers could find this channel and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already as I will be posting new videos like this every single week. I've also included my simulation hypothesis video and a video that I did about the mysteries of death. You can click and watch right here. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.